Welcome back to Hard Yards Brewing. You got Caleb and Mikey. This is go. take three. Take three. So yeah, we're having a few technology issues today, but that's all right. Coming to you from Mikey's greenhouse. Hopefully been, this this one this is the one. Yeah, we've been to hair and makeup, but he put a hat on, so yeah, yeah. didn't need to worry about it. But anyway, good to see you. Happy New Year, uh, 2017, man. Big mm. year, big year coming up, and I yep. uh, wish everyone uh, all the very best. And uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, well, you know, just get out there, man, and live some life, and uh, and have some fun, and drink some beer, and um, just, yeah, go for it. Yeah. So yeah, okay. So this is take three because this camera of ours keeps stopping. Mm. Plan up. Yeah, that's all right. But you know, we're back again. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we finish this uh, review, we're going to be pretty drunk if we yeah. keep going this way. Yeah. So anyway, without further ado, thank you, Carl from Cal Cupper Cupper Brewing, Cal Cupper Cupper. The more. Uh, Drink of this, the hard thing is to say. Yeah, he said it way better on the first day. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I had it all down. Uh, but uh, we sent Cal some beers, and uh, thankfully, mate, you sent us some back in Waterhall, man. I thank you very much. Um, pretty stoked and excited about the ones we've got. Um, Belgian Double, um, Wagon Brewing's Extra Pale Ale, that's the one with the kit. Um, Pacifica Lager, every time I say that, it still sounds really good. Mm. Pacifica Lager, Floor Sweeper Bock Beer. We're both sweet floors, so we can, we can actually drink that. Yeah. Apprentices and, sweep a lot of floors. Yeah, we, well, yeah. I'm past that now. But. Uh, and Crystal Vase Beer. All mm. Vase Beer. We still haven't worked it out, even though this is the third time. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to drink this one too. And also, even though it is nearly all gone now, because we've done this three times, the Swartz Beer. Dark Lager, 4.3%. And we've actually drunk this twice already, and it's delicious, I've got to tell you. <laughs> but hey, we can still talk about it. That's yep. cool. You've got three well, fabulous well reviews. Them. You're only going to see one of them. Yeah, well, I might, be able to, <laughs> I might be able to send them through to you. Do you want some more? Oh, yeah, sure. Would you like some more? Lovely. Oh, she's. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shh. Yeah, right. My bad. Yeah, we can't even edit We can't even edit this out. We can't even edit this stuff out. We're, we're mm. so professional. All right, so anyway. Thank you, Carl. Um, yeah. From this, just yeah, we've we've tried it already a couple of times. Nicely carbonated, man. It's got a um, nice amount of roast, but not sharp. Mm. Just delicious, eh? Yeah. Yeah, just um, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, nice beer. Yeah, and I'm um, looking at your kit, man. Awesome too. Like, I've seen the last one. I've seen all the last upgrade. Uh, you got one of them floating spar jam things. Yeah. Oh yeah, the automatic one. Yeah, it goes yeah. up and down. Turns it on, I think, with liquid or something. Yep. What do you mean? Sorry, it's not. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Me. Yeah, pretty cool, man. So yeah. Says. Cheers, Carl. You got the whole thing here. I'll wait for mine to settle down. Mm. Uh, yeah, like Mike said, really nice, real heaps of roasty flavours, but it's got a kind of um, yeah, it's not real heavy, so it's nice. You can bite and enjoy a few. Carbonated. We well, we're talking to you live too yeah. from the from the glass house, and it's got all sorts growing here: cabbages, tomatoes going crazy, grapevine, potatoes. Not trying to keep up with Steve Molson or anything, but you're going to struggle to keep up with that guy. He's, he's got a massive plot then. Mm. But yeah, hope you're catching plenty of uh, Snapper too, uh, Carl. Because mm. I'm not. I haven't been out yet. Not for ages. You need to come out too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been fishing. Mm. Been fishing for a while. Been busy, man. I've only got two jobs at the moment. I'm busy. Mike, always planning. Yeah. Been mm -hmm. making some beers? We have? We have been making some beers. So prior to Christmas, we made. Well, you made mm -hmm. uh, Fijo Lambic. Yep. Lambic. Yep. Um, Interesting beer. Yeah. Uh, two kilos of Fijo in the secondary, eh? Yep. Yeah, or two, two and a half, something like that. Yeah. Just the pulp, though, not the skins. So, yeah. It's got, yeah, it's not, it's not actually that sharp. I thought it was the Lambic could be quite sour, but it hasn't turned mm. out as sour as what I thought it would. No, it hasn't. That's all right. Never mind. Try these things. Um, so. And I brewed a American wheat beer with I put mango in it, and it came out pretty good. Yeah, really good. It's uh, first time I did a steep mash. I did um, a stepped mash. Tell you, third time. This is actually pretty. Good. It's only four point three percent. It's a hot day. That's, mm. what, that's what I'm going to blame. We're, we're drinking beer in the greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Come out. Come out real good. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, we we're pretty happy with the with the mango wheat beer. Did they yeah. uh, tried a light beer as well? Uh, I called it the Sober D because you know, everybody needs to ha be able to have a beer and still drive home. You know, you, not too many because you want to get caught and in trouble. But uh, and that one came out alright too. We used mm. Rewalker Pops. Uh, I can't remember what I used for Galaxy. I think for bittering. Um, but basically, um, the grain bill was like two and a half kilos. 
because I was sort of one or two and a half percent, but because the malt, it wasn't so much malt. Um, I just used pitched a USO five, and I think the USO five just ate everything, and it, and it attenuated right down to um, one double oh six. So I ended up with three point one, uh, which is cool. You know, I mean, it's still still low, and you can have a few of those in the store. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice drop actually. It's not like a yeah. I love alcohol either. Like it's you know it's it's um you have it and it's it's good. Yeah. Some of the low alcohol ones seem to lose all their body as they go. But it down. But speaking. This one's, Mm. Speaking of the other end of the spectrum, oh, Caleb yeah. made a Rip Your Sink Off, a right. Russian Imperial Stout. Now, Rip Your Sink Off, there's a bit of a story to that, no, which yeah. we're not going to delve into at no, the moment, no, because, but today. it is worthy of the name. <laughs> uh, you want yeah. to talk us through that brew day? <laughs> oh, she was a nightmare, from start to finish. Mm. Yeah. So, um, massive grain bill for what I was doing. I did it with my grandfather. He was eight, yeah. eight point it was seven like eight, kilos or something? 8.96, I think. Oh, was it? Mm. Yeah, too big. Yeah, too big. but grunty man, nice. Yeah. We well, got it. I got it through, but it was yeah. Whew. It was a nightmare. Was nightmare because I got a couple of phone calls and all through the through the morning of the brew day. But um, you realise you have to do exactly the same to get the same yeah. beer. Yeah, <laughs> you can have another nightmare. Oh, <laughs> mate. But delicious, eh? Yeah, really good. Um, how many? How much hops is it? One hundred fifty grams. One hundred fifty grams. Yeah. Yeah, for a twenty liter batch. So quite a lot for a. Well, I think it's quite a lot for a dark beer, yeah. but um, the alcohol balances it out. It's just just right, eh? Yeah, I can't. It, it was really surprising, really, because it for for all it gave me a massive headache trying to figure out how to to um, to do it efficiently with that amount of grain bill that was too, really too big for it, mm. um, and still managed to get it through. I ended up taking some of the wort off and adding it back at a later stage before the boil just to get it down far enough. I had a stuck sparge. Um, you thought it was going to come out like dirt. Yeah, it was. It was just one of those days. But it came out great. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. came out and great. It, and it kicks you in the. Yeah, yeah. Behind. It's one of those ones. If you have a glass, you got to just just sip away. If you were drinking it, you'd be yeah. clacking like a chicken before you know it. Yeah, yeah. It's real yeah. nice. End of, end of the night or start yeah. of the night. Mm. Yeah, it's actually it's one of those any day beers really. I, I, yeah. I really quite like it. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want too many beforehand, and yeah. you don't want too many after. It's one of those ones you could drink if you were going out somewhere to a to a the wife's work do or something, and you didn't know anyone. Bang back a couple of those, mate. Before you, everyone's your mate, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. They're pretty grunty. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, yeah, this one lovely. Thank you, Carl. Mm. But we're also going to try another one. We are. Mm. And you can open that one because I just. Botch for that one. Oh, it's not one off. Crystal Vase Beer. So you have to open it. Oh, what happens with it? Okay. <laughs> I'll clean. Oh, uh, we've oh. got some professional water here. You want to have oh, more water? Oh, we can do it in those yeah. We've got more glasses. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll do more. So, yeah. Um, oh, also for brewing, we brewed a, uh, brewed a couple of lagers. You can wash out with that, too. We're professional around here. Uh, a couple of lagers uh, yesterday, actually. One was Munich. Just use straight Munich and Raquel hops, uh, and the other one. Mm, that's not as nice as the beer. Mm. The other one was um, light lager. I can't remember the last. Can you smell the hops board? in that? Yeah. Light mm. light lager malt, and um, just used Rewacher hops. So and use a Danish lager yeast. Probably should have started with the light one first. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna do it anyway because I've been looking forward to these, man. These are some good mm. beers, like you know, mm. it's not. Oh yeah, it's got a summer. And smoke on the opening. There's another guy on YouTube says all the time. Four years first. Holy crap, that's oh, clear like bloody that. wine. Look at that. That is that's that's uh, no wonder it's crystal vase beer. Holy sh Jesus. Look at that. That's <laughs> Man. Ooh, you gotta see this. That's um Jesus Cow. If that's that's impressive, mate. Uh, this must is it key? What there's got to be nothing in there, I don't think. Mm. Mate, that's awesome. It's real different, eh? Oh yeah. Mm. What the what recipe, mate? You got to share this recipe. Look that. It smells spicy, eh? Is it spicy? Mm. Sort of spicy. I have to drink some out Cheers, of man. Hang on, it's not Cheers, Carl. Oh, that's wicked, man. So clear. That, that's ama look, you know, someone made that. That's wicked. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I love that. 
That's lovely. A little bit of a dry on the back. Yeah, it's um, man, what sort of yeast? If you don't mind sharing that yeast, man, what you use, eh? Far out. Right, that's clear. Though. How long does it take you to brew, man? That's that's uh, pretty impressive. Should I be happy with that, eh? That's <laughs> real good. Far out. Right. It's almost borderline. Right? It's like a champagne yeast or something. Got to be, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Vice beer it must be like one of them. Because half of vice is it? Oh, I don't know. I've oh, no idea. But that's good. That's nice, man. That's mm. lovely. Very, very sure you've got some fruit in it or something. It's just like a bit. It's cidery or? It's all a cider, yeah. But yeah, it doesn't actually say that. It's the same that, kind of body as a cider. You know, it doesn't actually say the ABV or anything, but. Mm. Very really nice. Good on you, mate. Cheers. Mm. May the snapper be good to you. Oh, yeah. Fruity flavour, yeah. That's lovely. That's um, that's professional, mate. You buddy, you get that, you buy that at a shop, eh? Yeah, it's interesting how it doesn't um, like it's, it's got heaps of um, carbonation, but doesn't create the head on top. Yeah, yeah. true that, eh? That's um, really nice. absolutely impressive, though. <laughs> mm. Well done, mate. Bloody well done. Yeah, awesome. Perfect for the day. Perfect for the greenhouse, yeah. Glasshouse, Glasshouse, greenhouse. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah, same thing. It's good down here. Kids are up there playing battleships. Yeah. Probably right strangling each other or something. But can't, it's not, not burning. The house isn't burning, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, happy holidays, man. That's wicked. So mm. you're back to work tomorrow? Sure am. And I'm back to work tomorrow. Yep. Me, I'll be back. Yep. Um, yeah, so look forward to trying the rest of these. We'll have to, uh, that's. Um, I'm interested in this Pacifica Lager now, man. Like that, look at that. I bet you that's going to be like that, man. Mm. Yeah, wicked. Awesome. Um, oh, another beer we did too was a um, bit of coffee, coffee porter too. Um, Carl's yet to try that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what you think of that, Carl. Uh, it's, bit, it's nice roastiness, I sort of thought, but I'm not going to say any more. I'll just let you uh, mm. see what you think. That's, that's very nice, eh? That's perfect down here. Yeah. Because it's about. About 35 in the shade. It's about 600 degrees in here. <laughs> I can feel my face going red. Yeah. Anyway, hey, good guys, this is around uh, the 12 minute mark. And everybody, everybody's sick of listening to you and me waffle and look at beers. Yeah, that's because it's take three. Yeah. It is take three. We've been doing this for the last half an hour. That's but it's great. You know, half an hour drinking someone else's cool beer, man. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Cheers, but no, man. hey, cheers to everyone. Um, yeah, sorry we've been so long uh, getting back on here, but our yeah, life's been busy. Got two jobs now. and um, Caleb's got a, he's pretty busy or he's on bike riding and doing all sorts of things too. Mm -hmm. Not this, you know, really an excuse, I suppose, you know, we just don't yeah. have time, eh? But young families too. Yeah, so, no, yeah. This, so this time of year you spend some time with your family and Yeah, but no, I love uh, time. catching up and it's good to see uh, you guys all on here too, you know. I see some awesome videos coming out, it's really cool to see you guys all brewing heaps of cool stuff like this, man. That's uh, mm -hmm. very, very impressive. So very nice. So yeah. So anyway, with that, we might well, we might as well bugger off. Yeah, I reckon. So yeah, I'm gonna, and there's a bit of this left, which is even more. Yeah. And this is take three. I'm not just staying with We've already got a glow, I can feel a glow going on. I don't know if it's yeah. from the heat in here or whether it's from the beers. But anyway, thank you very much, Carl. That was really awesome. Cheers, man. And um, yeah, to everyone, just all the very best for 2017. And you Cheers. Too. Cheers, man. Cheers, everyone.